What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Look, man, I was thinking about something. Um, oftentimes, we see people as they get a little bit older, time passes, you start to transform physically a little bit. You might see yourself getting a little gut kind of sticking out, a little pudge. Females might got a little of that action going on. And you see people start to say, Hey man, well you know, I'm just getting old, man. I'm just getting up there, man. You know, that's that's just what it is. You gotta accept it. The question is, do you really have to accept it? And the, the more important question is, is should you accept it? Because to accept it is to say, basically, there's nothing that you can do about it. Well, I just want to ask the question: Is there something you can do about it? Can you slow down? the aging process. Can you take control of your physical appearance in a way that does not require um, surgery, does not require um, chemically trying to transform yourself, but natural steps that could be taken to preserve your youth and to prevent Things like uh, getting overweight, getting out of shape, you know, these are the things we got to ask ourselves because a lot of times when we accept the other way that I just mentioned, these are the things that lead to us getting real sick at an early age. And when I say real sick, I don't necessarily mean you're on your deathbed, but you start to develop certain conditions. People will say, well, man, you know, man, I got this arthritis, man. Oh, man, I, you know, I'm pre-diabetic. Or, hey, man, I'm this or I'm that. You have all these different conditions that you chalk up and give credit to as just being getting older. Yeah, man. And they'll try to lump you in. Yeah, man, we getting older, man. We getting older. This is no, no, whoa. Speak for yourself. You can absolutely control that process based on eating the right foods, exercising, and doing the best you can to keep your mind clear and focused and keep a positive outlook mentally. These things don't have to be just uh, determined, predetermined to be just the way it is. It's only the way it is if you accept that. Oh man, I've been eating good. No, you've been eating bad. You've been eating bad. I feel like, you know, of course when you get older and your metabolism starts to slow and 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 you're not able to just eat what you want to eat and still look the same, we have to implement some kind of exercise daily in our life. Well, even if it's not daily, something going on every week you need to have some kind of exercise regimen that you uh, create the, the self-discipline to stick to on a regular basis. Because, number one, a lot of y'all talk a lot of smack. <laughs> y'all talk a lot of smack, but if something popped off right today, you wouldn't be able to even stand and fight for 20 seconds before getting tired or if something happened and you had to run you wouldn't even be able to run for 20 seconds. So, there's so many different reasons and so many different levels and layers as to why we should take better care of ourselves and, and to get in better shape. And it starts with eating the right foods. And a lot of times, you know, it may be a process to figure out what's the right stuff to eat that takes a while over time to kind of get it down for some people. But in the meantime, the best way to simplify that is to just eliminate certain things off the rip. If you eliminate certain foods off the rip, then that's a big step. And you'll figure the rest out as you go along. But never accept deterioration of your physical self as if it's something that's outside of yourself that you couldn't control. The, the true person to blame
for that, for your slowing down and for the changing in your appearances that you may not be comfortable with, is you. You the one to blame for it. You chose to start slowing down and eating bad and not exercising. You chose to do that. Well, I ain't got time. Make time. Make time. Figure it out. All right, man, it's your big brother, K. You know, I just wanted to put that out there for y'all. Y'all feel free to leave y'all comments down below because some of y'all are uh, uh, developing that pattern in y'all 20s, in y'all 30s, which is still very young. You shouldn't be on medication and all that when you 31 and 34 and 29. You, you, you shouldn't, you should, even in your 40s and 50s, but I'm talking about the younger people, you shouldn't already be on that road. Cause you're in that road, on that road to being that person with 28 pill bottles on your on your side table. You don't want that. All right, man. Catch y'all later. Peace.